yeah look at that jackfruit jerky it's got a really meat light texture tastes delicious and it's super easy to make under the magic light and let's get started so get that jackfruit maple syrup straight out of canada get that oil sunflower oil that is what struggling with the draw smoked paprika and baking paper and some pepper and salt soy sauce boom now i need to quickly convert fahrenheit to celsius 176 degrees celsius that's what we're gonna put our oven on preheat it so the tray is nice and hot and we can cook that jackfruit nice and quick open up the can of jackfruit and drain out any of that excess water that's in there stick it on your chopping board this will kind of fallen apart already Whoop. we want to get them about quarter inch thick quite a lot of them we're going to need to slice down the side just like that those ones are all done. Let's get started on the sauce. The last video I did was baking and had to measure loads of ingredients and I kind of had enough. So I decided to just chuck in the ingredients, did a load of maple syrup, did about the same amount of oil, which is what it says in the recipe. And then soy sauce, added in what I thought was a good amount. There we go. Grind a load of salt in there, loads of smoked paprika and add in some pepper as well. Get a fork and give that a good old mix. And it needs a little bit more salt. Let's add some of that in. It's nice, but it's definitely missing something. And that's a little bit of kick. So I'm going to add in some of this buffalo wings hot sauce. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're going to gently add in a few pieces of our jackfruit. And just make sure they're all covered in the sauce. Right, let's... Oh wait, we need the tea towel. Grab our baking tray out of the oven. Get some baking paper. Tear a little bit off. Place it on top of your baking tray and start just adding on the bits of jackfruit. Looks like we've actually got a little bit of space left on here. So I think we should grab another tin of jackfruit, open it up, drain out that water. I always say water in an Australian accent. And then once I start talking about talking in an Australian accent, I just start talking in an Australian accent. So we're gonna just empty out all this jackfruit. Went through, sliced them all up again. Then just use that second tin of jackfruit to make sure we filled up all of those gaps and we're making the most of this batch. Now it's time to stick it in the oven, close up the door and we're going to leave it for about 45 minutes and while that's cooking it's easy to just go down and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it so you can check out new videos whenever they come out thanks for subscribing it's been about 45 minutes so we're going to have a little check on the jackfruit see how it's all doing i'm just moving them around a little bit to see how well they're cooked through i can see on the bottom they're still a little bit watery so i'm going to spread them out again and let's just stick them back in the oven for about another five ten minutes something like that and we're back let's see how these are doing oh yeah these look a lot more crisp crispy than before subscribe right now i promise you'll like these if you don't you can go ahead and unsubscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video